Well, there was some argument about the way in which the vote was conducted. I was not in the hall at the time. The decision has been made. Uh, I think there's no point uh, arguing about that at all. What I would say is what I said in the run-up to the vote. I don't think it is really credible for the Labour Party that seeks to form the government of the country in a general election campaign, in which we are going to say to the British people, quite rightly, and that is a decision that's just been taken, uh, that was not the case a year ago, we've made big progress, and I welcome, I welcome Jeremy Corbyn's support for it, that we are going to put the choice to the British people between a, a leave option and remain. I don't think it is credible to say, but in answer to the question, but how will the Labour Party, the Labour government campaign in such a referendum? Well, we can't tell you that now. And the reason why I say that is the person who in those circumstances would be the Chancellor of the Exchequer, John Macdonald, the Foreign Secretary, Emily Thornbury, the Home Secretary, Diane Abbott, Keir Starmer, who's the Brexit Secretary, the Mayor of London, the, the First Minister in Wales, the leader of the Labour Party, in Scotland, lots and lots of Labour MPs, we've all, including myself, we've all made it clear we're going to be campaigning for Remain in that referendum when it comes. So uh, I'm not sure that as a policy it will survive interviews on television and on the doorstep when people say, are you seriously telling me that if I vote Labour, I don't know which side you're going to be on in that referendum? And the idea for me that Labour would in the end decide it was going to be on the same side as Boris Johnson and Nigel Farage and the Brexit party in campaigning for us to leave the European Union. I just don't think it's going to happen. And in life and in politics, you know what? You should stand by your principles and say what you think. No, absolutely. And many analysts out there are saying that yesterday's decision by the Labour Party will spectacularly backfire because the Remain votes are all going to go towards the Lib Dem Party, who actually have taken a stance and are not sitting on the fence. Does that worry you heading into the next election? Well, well of course it does. Now, the, the thing about Brexit is it has divided the nation. Uh, and Jeremy Corbyn has been seeking to try and find a way of bringing the nation back together. And the confirmatory referendum that we have now adopted is, I think, the way to do that for this reason. On the one hand, you have Boris Johnson, who is prepared to try and inflict a no-deal Brexit on the British people. There is no mandate for that from the referendum. It would be disastrous for the economy and the communities we represent. And Parliament has legislated to say he can't do that if he doesn't get a deal at the European Council uh, summit on the 17th and 18th of October, he has to ask for a further extension. That's on the one hand. On the other are the Liberal Democrats. Now, they have decided to move from a position of arguing for a second confirmatory referendum to, in effect, cancelling the referendum result. They're saying to people and the 17.4 million who voted to leave, your vote never counted, it doesn't mean anything. Now, I don't think either of those are sustainable positions, how do we try and heal the divisions that have been created by Brexit? It is by saying to people, look, this is what leaving actually means. The promise is made during the referendum, and the essential promise of the Leave campaign was you can have all your sovereignty back, but don't worry because every single economic benefit of being part of the European Union, the single market and the customs union, can be preserved because we're going to get a great deal. It wasn't true then. It isn't true now. We know it isn't true. Brexit involves choices and trade-offs. And therefore, to say this is the kind of choice you have to make if you want to confirm the decision to leave, and here is Remain, and then it's up to the people to decide. And that, I think, is the democratic way to bring this to an end. And the final argument for the confirmatory referendum is this. We're three and a bit years on. Parliament is deadlocked. Parliament cannot find a way forward. We cannot prolong the agony and the uncertainty, which is bad for business and communities. We can't keep asking for an extension. And therefore, a confirmatory referendum is a way of concluding this. And I'm delighted that the Labour Party conference has expressed its overwhelming support for that here in Brighton. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.